Hi, good morning. Uh, today, I want to show you something today. And uh, today's issue, it's all going to be around um, doing market of your products or making business out of gods. Today, I'm going to explain a lot of things to you. And uh, one of the things I'm going to discuss how do you make a billion out of goat farming? How do you make a billion? Like now, if you stock an animal, uh, let's say 1 million or maybe 500,000, how do you add value on that goat such that you make more money out of it? But do you know that it's very possible for you to make that money? Or you, if you don't know, then join me for this session. Um, first and foremost, I want to introduce to you this area where we are seated. Uh, you very well remember that this is called Ham Garden Cafe and Grill. And uh, the name Ham come, came from my name. I'm called Hamisi Semanda. The other side is called Ham Animal Breeding Farm. And then this is called Ham Garden Cafe and Grill. Those two things connect, by the way, uh, because one is helping the other. So today I want to discuss two to three things. And I would request the cameraman to get more closer so that I can give more details. Um, now, some people have been asking me, Hamis, if we do uh, goats, we see goats are very expensive to buy, uh, like for us, we travel to South Africa and we buy goats in dollars. How do I make my money out of that? I talked about different markets. And one of the markets that I discussed about was um, the breeding market, because that's the market that I really started with. And uh, we also talked about of the normal market. Let's say you are in Masindi. Let's say you are in Gulu. Let's say the most common market is the consumption market and of which a person comes look at your animals pays you there and then and takes the animal that's one of the market and uh, if you buy a goat let's say at five hundred thousand, and you also buy a male let's say at three millions and uh, i've mentioned this many times like if the bigger the number uh, the better for you the smaller the number, the more it expensive it becomes. So if you're looking at starting to do commercial, because you might start small, like 20, 10 goats, 15 or 5, that is not yet commercial. But if you want to make it commercial, you will be looking at the number of 50 and above. But that doesn't stop you from starting. You get starts and make sure that you are moving. So the number which is economical, the number that would make sense of 50 and 100 and 1,000, it will find you on the way. So when you bring up those animals together, they meet a, the one of 3 million and the one of 500,000. Then they make a baby. That baby will be around 75 or 87 or 93. What gives you money in that business? It's all about the growth rate of an animal, and I've showed you that very many times. And um, th that goat, if it can attain at least uh, half a kilo per day, or it can attain 400 grams per day, at the end of six months, it should have given you over 50 kgs uh, of, of, of live. So that means carcass, it can give you around uh, 25 to 60. You know, I want you also to notice uh, if you slaughter an animal and the body score is not that good, it will not give you very good carcass. What am I trying to mean by a body score? I'm talking about the flesh you see uh, or the muscles uh, it, it has. It will definitely explain to you the carcass that you'll get. And if you're dealing with hybrids, that means uh, the ratio of muscle to bone, the muscles are bigger than the bones. And actually, even under 
market or on the carcass it will be giving you very good money so that market if you're selling for that you're looking at a person coming weigh the animal pays you off and we are trying also to see that we can introduce another system of a person coming to buy your animals it comes with a weighing scale you weigh the live weight and you sell the live weight or we estimate the carcass and then he pays you with the carcass carcass i mean after dressing up an animal you know slaughtering removing the the skin and then um removing the offals the blood and then the fresh meat that's what we call dressing up or the carcass meat so we shall introduce that we are trying to make sure that we reach also on that level but um as per now um what determines is the weight the weight gain of that animal then after getting that weight gain it gives you a lot of results so if you bought an animal at 500,000 and the father at 3 million and you're selling a goat at maybe let's say average 200,000 in uh, 6 months to 8 it gives you results because whatever you sell let's say if you started with 100 and you know uh, you get 100 kids and you're selling them at 6 months that means um, that will be around uh, 20 million. So if that business every after six months it gives you 20 million, uh, that we shall uh, maybe result it 200,000. Uh, okay, 20 million per six months. So this divided by six months, that means that business will be giving you 3.3 million. And for the breeding, whatever you sell for breeding, uh, a person will come and buy it at 500,000, 1 million. And where are the markets? One of the markets is Uganda, as Uganda. Uh, another market, uh, the whole East Africa, Congo, where I'm telling you, I have sent animals there. But uh, what I've not tackled is an export market. But how do we, the question of today, how do we package? Today, I'm going to talk about of the slaughter uh, places. I'm going to talk about like have a farm, produce an animal, then after producing an animal, before you sell it to these people who slaughter, how can you also add value and make a billion out of it? Here where I am, I'm going to show you a lot of things. And this is not my money, you guys. It is not my money. It's God's money. When I sell goats at the farm, I also start to do another project outside the farm you get it and this is what i'm trying to show you and for your information that goat that would sell for the slaughter guy at two hundred thousand, when you add value like the way i'm going to show you the value addition you're going to get very good results you'll be getting either eight hundred thousand or 1.2 actually i'm even tempted to start slaughtering goats of uh, 75 percent the ones i sell at 500 000, i'm tempted to even sell them for slaughter where at ham guarded because when i bring it let's say if i wait for it to go like nine months and uh, you know when you're selling for breeding if it's a 70 75 even if it's too big even if it's too small it all goes for the same cost so now here if i wait for it to make 10 months that means a goat will be around 60 if I'm feeding it well. 60 kgs live weight or 70. Then when I bring it here and we slaughter it, the carcass, it can give me around 35 to 40. And I tell you what, here at Ham Garden, we are selling a kilo of goat's meat at 40,000. So 40,000 times 40 kilos, that will be 1.6. If you are Hamis, would you not be attempted to start slaughtering those animals? instead of selling them for breeding. But now I have another problem because I call myself a good promoter. So if I fail to sell to you people who are coming up to also start the business, I need your advice. I don't know what I'm going to do because now when I sell to you for breeding at 500,000, I'm making a bigger loss, but I'm a good promoter. And my main aim, it is not only this market, but exhausting a goat from the offers, from blood, from teeth, from skin, uh, from meat, everything. So if I decide to slaughter them, 
then I'm cutting off an export market and I'm calling you upon to start breeding in big quantity and we export. Now, if I start to eat it here, what will I sell to you for breeding? That means this is another alternative, but we still need to push our target is an export. Because in export, they're not looking at one, they're looking at quantities. Because when a person comes here, he's talking about 10,750 goats per week, you know, all those quantities. But we all need that money. A person came, uh, he was an MP from Kenya, and he told me uh, they have a contract of exporting animals to Saudi Arabia, and he wanted 10,000 goats. 10,000 goats uh, per month. So if you are selling each goat, let's say, at 200,000 or 250, those of six months, let's say 200, okay. 10,000 times um, um, 200,000, that is 2 billion per month. Times 12 months, that will be 24 billion coming in the good section. Guys, those markets you see, I'm not just telling you stories. They are real thing. If you have the animals and you think you can make that quantity, put your comment down there. I'll definitely contact you. So now, let me make you move and see how instead of selling a goat at maybe say 350 i'm going to show you how you add value uh and you start making more money you can get from that goat that would sell 350 how do you add more value and uh, you sell it at 1.6 or 2 that is also another journey by the way because it involves a lot you sell the animals, you also get that money, you start investing it. Because I bought this land some time back. You know these dealers who always tell you, buy, then after buying, you're going to do what? To sell. They'll give you money. You know land grows. That was my intention. But finally, the intention, I didn't make it. Finally, the, the, the mind came into my understanding that if I do, uh, let's say, value addition at this point, I'll make more money. Cameraman, come with me and I'll show you. So this place is called Ham Garden. How do we maintain the green? Like the way you see this green, like the way you see green down here, we do goats um, uh, dung. It's goats dung that we bring in here. It makes our green to grow very fast because, you know, um, in actual sense, the whole system of this world is all about recycling because you get the grass you give it to the animals 